this PCI form is going to cover the ultrasound, post calibration inspection, or annual quality assurance checks. It's divided into two parts. The top half, which is the equipment identification, and the bottom half, which is the qualitative testing. Far corner, we have the facility name, which is Hospital XYZ. Today's day, the inspecting agency, which is the Biomed Department. The ECN or equipment control number or index number or asset tag as well as the equipment room number. Below is the manufacturer name, the equipment serial number as well as the QC Phantom serial number or test device that we will use. Here is the ultrasound model the transducer probe serial number as well as the phantom model number. Moving along, here are some visual and operational inspections. We will check the labels, check the system diagnostics, clean any filters or check the AC plug receptacles, the circuit breaker fuses, any cracks or bent pins, uh, check the fans. Moving along, we will test the qualitative test beginning with uniformity. As you can see, the white dots, circles, or wires are called reflectors. They all must be the same size, shape, and brightness. In this photo, to measure uniformity, above the red line are reflectors that are uniform or identical. Below the red line, we see reflectors with discrepancies such as too dark or too light, different brightnesses, irregular or oblong in shape, and fuzzy. Lastly, we see a random line which also indicates non-uniformity. The next test is the near field or dead zone. The dead zone corresponds to the initial time where ringing signals, signals caused by a continued vibration of a transducer are not detected. To measure near field, start at the first reflector and count how many total reflectors you see. Next, subtract the total number of reflectors by the actual number of reflectors seen. For example, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 reflectors total, but we see only 4 on the image. Therefore, we will subtract 5 from 4, calculating a distance of 1 centimeter for the dead zone. Next is depth of penetration, also known as skin depth. It is the depth at which eddy current density has decreased 36% of the surface. Lower frequencies are used for deeper penetration, therefore as the frequency increases, penetration decreases. To measure depth of penetration, measure reflector number one's distance from the edge to reflector number six's edge and calculate the total distance. The distance from number one down to number six reflector should total 60 centimeters plus or minus one centimeter or 1.5 percent. Moving along. Focal point or axial resolution. This is the shape or the narrowness of the ultrasound beam or center frequency and is the point of greatest intensity 
lateral side view resolution to the image. In this photo, to measure the focal point, we'll twist the transducer to require an hourglass image, almost like a straight line on the image, both left to right. And it should equal between these two left and right distances, the center should be less than 0.1 millimeter in distance. Next, vertical distance. This is the distance measured vertically from reflector number one's edge to reflector number two's edge, resulting in 10 centimeters distance plus or minus one centimeter. So from the top of reflector number one to the top of reflector number two, we should measure 10 centimeters, or you can measure from the bottom of number one to the bottom of number two, and it should also be 10 centimeters plus or minus one centimeter. Next, horizontal distance. This is the distance measured horizontally from reflector number one to reflector number two, measuring 10 centimeters in distance, plus or minus one centimeter. Measure from distance one edge to distance two edge, or from the bottom to the bottom edges. Again, 10 centimeters in distance, plus or minus one centimeter. Moving along, lateral resolution. This measures the spacing left edge to right edge between the horizontal reflectors at multiple distances, such as 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 millimeter in distances. For example, at 5 millimeters, you should measure and record 5 centimeters. From this edge to this edge is 5 centimeters. From this edge to this edge is 4 centimeters. From this edge to this edge is 3 centimeters plus or minus one, and so on. Next, vertical resolution. This measures the spacing from the top edge to the bottom edge between vertical reflectors, six millimeters apart at multiple distances, at five millimeter, four, three, two, one, and 0.5 millimeter distances. To measure at five millimeters, you should measure and record five centimeters. So from the top edge to the bottom edge should be five centimeters. From the top edge to the bottom edge, four centimeters. From the top edge to the bottom edge, three centimeters, and so on, plus or minus one centimeter. Moving along, the next test is low scatter. Low scatter is used to measure dark or cyst-like tissues at two centimeters, four centimeters, six centimeters, and eight centimeter depths or distances. Measure and record the diameter of the cyst-like reflector. In, a, in addition, we will also annotate how clear and consistent the shape of the image is, or if it's fuzzy, distorted, light-colored, etc. Moving along to high scatter. High scatter is used to measure white or tumor-like tissues at Again, two centimeters, four centimeters, six centimeters, and eight centimeters in depth. We will measure and record the diameter of the cyst as shown here. While in addition also annotating the clearness and the contrast of the image, fuzziness, is it distorted or dark colored. Moving along, volumetric measure. 
Volumetric measure is used to measure the volume and the size of the reflectors for initial and later comparative results. So we will measure and record the reflectors sizes and the number of reflectors at 5 centimeters, 3.5 centimeters, 5.5 centimeters, and so on, up to 7 centimeters in distances. And basically we are just counting the number of reflectors that we can see and storing them in our computerized database for later comparative results. Last one is anaconic mass. This is the fluid filled cyst or replicating a fluid filled cyst as shown here. And for this test we are simply measuring the diameter which is 10, 10 centimeters in length and recording it. And all of this is pass or fail. And then we will record electrical safety results and any action required or remarks as well as have the technician sign the form.